Hi everyone. Our four-year-old preschool program looks very daunting, but the nice thing about CHUM is the children learn by having fun. We make sure that it's games, it's active learning, it's things that children are really involved in as they conquer all these academic challenges this year. This year you can expect your child to learn all about the capital and lowercase letters, the sounds they make, and also how to write those letters. We'll practice writing the letters throughout the year. The children bring in objects that start with each letter. We'll send the Ziploc bag home on a Monday with a letter card and a sight word card. And on Wednesday, your child is supposed to bring back the bag with three objects, three concrete objects, not pictures, three objects that start with that the letter of the week. So if the letter is D, they might want to bring a dog, a donut, and a dinosaur. dinosaur in their Ziploc bag. And then we sit around the carpet and each child shows their objects that start with D so that by the end, after all the children have shown their objects, it's pretty concrete in the children's mind. D says D like dinosaur, dog, and donut. And they recognize the capital and lowercase D. We might um, play a game where they toss a bean bag at the lowercase D or um, they bowl to knock over pins and then they have to identify the letter on the pins that they knocked over. We make sure that the skills that we teach are constantly reinforced, but they're reinforced in an active and fun way. We also learn the sounds of each letter and how to blend those sounds together. Now, so that they should be able to decode um, bad, B-A-D. And if I change the first B to a D, now it says D-A-D. Talk slow motion, Dad. Now speed it up, Dad. D Dad? And, and when the light bulb comes on, it's just such a really cool thing because your preschoolers are learning to read. We have 26 or more sight words that we learn, and those are mostly words that are hard for the kids to decode. For example, um, the word do, D-O. Do would be a hard word to decode. Um, me, M-E, might be hard for them to decode, so we work on those, and you can see the sight words over there that, that we have learned so far this year. Come, C-O-M-E, if it followed the rules where sneaky silent E makes the vowel say its name, it should be comb, but instead it's come. So our sight words are a lot of words that don't follow rules, and some words that do that we just want to use to build fluency and letter recognition. Um, as far as math goes, we we practice the numbers 1 through 20, writing the numbers, recognizing the numbers, but we count to 100. We do it in a fun way. We exercise our way to 100, or we play games, bingo, um, all different kinds of things with the numbers. We also practice shapes, patterns, and measurement. Now, your child won't learn how to do a rule, use a ruler, but we do more an active learning. We'll get a pen and say, how many Legos long is the pen? And they'll measure the Legos by putting them next to the pen. And then the knowledge that they learn by measuring the pen will transfer to the knowledge that they need to use a ruler in first grade or kindergarten. We also emphasize STEM activities, science, technology, engineering, and math. We um, learn all about what's alive, the different states of matter, forces. We build balloon rockets. We do really fun things. We build paper airplanes and spinners. States of matter, we watch ice melt. We build, um, we make rainbow crayons, really cool things. Space, um, the planets, things like that. It's always fascinating for four-year-olds. And the life cycle, we emphasize in a really strong way. In September, we have we watch eggs hatch into caterpillars, and caterpillars build their chrysalises and turn into butterflies. In the spring, we get eggs from a local farmer, and we put them in a see-through incubator so that the children actually get to see the chickens come out of the eggs. It's fascinating for them. And then we keep the little baby chicks for a few weeks so they can see how they grow when the down turns to feathers. Um, and then in late spring, we get frog eggs and we watch the frogs turn into tadpoles and we learn that nature needs to go back to nature and we let the tadpoles go or if they've turned into frogs by the end of the class, which occasionally happens, we let those also release back to nature. Also, the chickens go back to the farmer and the butterflies we release so that they learn a respect for the environment. As far as gross motor skills and fine motor skills, getting them ready for writing and cutting is really important. Sometimes children can't write, not because they're not smart, but because their fine motor skills aren't developed. So we practice, we use 
Play-Doh and Legos and beads and puzzles and all kinds of things that get their fingers moving here, here in preschool. Cutting is often really hard. Getting your child to put one thumb in the little hole and two fingers in the big hole and just practice moving the scissors without paper sometimes just builds their confidence. One thing we do not use here at Shum is we do not have the children on computers. We do not have the children on iPads. We feel that an important part of preschool is the socialization, playing games with other children, learning to take turns, learning how to lose graciously, learning how to win graciously, learning how to notice the kid that's all by himself and doesn't seem to have friends, and inviting him to play with you, or always saying yes when somebody says, can I play? There's always room for one more, one more friend. We learn it chum. So again, we don't use computers. We feel that's something they do enough of at your house. And so here we want it to be something special and a more active learning. We hope that you find your experience at CHUM to be really rewarding. We've had many valedictorians come from CHUM and we're very proud of that fact, the successful young people that have, have started their academic careers here at CHUM. So we hope your child enjoys the year. We feel that he'll learn a lot. Thank you so much. Video news. Oh, video news. We have one more way to share news. The kids can verbally share news or they can also, if you want, take a short video of them doing some special activity. For example, some of the children may never have seen karate, and if your child takes karate lessons, that's cool. One little girl brought a picture of her cows, a, a video of her cows in. One little girl was taking swimming lessons. We saw a picture of her swimming lessons. One little boy was into bugs, and we looked at his bug collection on video. So very cool things can be shared on video. We're proud and happy to watch your child's video. Just sent it to Mrs. Sprouse text address, right? And she will be glad to show it on our TV in the morning. We do ask that if you do that, that you hold your phone horizontally like this, because then when we show the video news, it will take up our whole TV screen. Uh, we can do amazing science and engineering, different lessons, social studies lessons from some of the video news that you're kind enough to share. So we hope that you'll consider sharing some of that. We'll look forward to having your child at Chum, and we think it's going to be a wonderful and successful year where we tailor the learning to each individual child, and we make sure that every child succeeds. Thanks so much.